two weeks ago today, we broke this axle shaft on the Rubicon. Oh. We'll have, one way or another, a shaft that's gonna turn all four tires. Plan this out before well, we Judd's do it. Judd's got a print. Judd, are you printing out your, a print for us? He's gone. You have a full-time programmer, and the one day you need it for Frank the Tank and 100 tow you out, he's probably in the restroom. He must be on break. Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, this this is it. What do you got for us, Judd? Here is your hole pattern to put This the is the together. Swiss cheese of all Swiss. That looks official. Yeah, it's official. Look at that. It looks like a basically like an engineered drawing. What are the, is that latitude and longitude on there? This is all military stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've seen it a million times. Uh, this is like proprietary technology here. These are is this geometry? <laughs> this is way more official than anything I've ever done. Two weeks ago today. We broke this axle shaft on the Rubicon. Uh, so we wheeled out the rest of the way with it in a three wheel drive. Got home, attempted to order a new axle shaft from Dynatrack and told us that they don't even have, like they don't exist right now. They, they can't get one, they don't have one. It's, it's not happening. So we had to come up with a backup plan. And this is the backup plan that we're going with. It, the real issue what? is this, is that Dynatrack has the proprietary 12 holes, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Which the 12 holes aren't even on the same circle as the standard eight holes of 60s, 70s, or traditional 80s, right? Right. So this is a cut, cut to fit 35 spline semi-float shaft that should go right in, but Dynatrack has this weird 12, yeah. right? Yeah. So this is a Yukon. Holes. This is a Yukon axle. It has all yeah. the holes. All the holes, yeah. I yeah. mean, they couldn't have fit any more holes. But we did find out that four of the holes kind of line up. Not really, because it's on a bigger bolt circle. What's that bolt circle, Judd? Just not sure. I do not remember. <laughs> I don't, so, so, that's, so, that's, get to the so as you can see, things are going well here. <laughs> I guess we'll just make this happen, huh? Yeah. Have, when you were a kid, did you ever have constructs? Yeah. 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 Is that what this is? Very similar. Okay. Isn't uh, that called like an erector set? <laughs> Judd, that's something else that you have <laughs> after hours. Yeah. yeah, that's not a kid's toy, <laughs> Judd. Maybe you played with an erection we're, set. We're, I'm talking about an erector set. <laughs> we're going to have to edit that out. So this is 3.96 and this is 4 point something. So what we're going to do is we're going to oval out four of the holes and then we're going to drill six new ones. Circle holes. Wait, does that the six and four equal twelve? No, no, no. no. So yeah. therefore, we're actually going down the wrong path already. We're gonna draw up eight holes. Eight holes. And, and use four. And use four. oval out four. And we're gonna make yeah, that's this Yukon shaft work. So that was plan A. That was plan A. And we're gonna attempt that. Yeah. Plan B, if that doesn't work or something goes south, we're gonna take the wheel hub off of the Dana 80 with this stupid 12 volt pattern. We're gonna put a 70 wheel hub on there with the eight volt, ditch your brakes, because no it's different brakes. offset and stuff. Yeah. Which if you if you were wondering, when you're in four wheel drive and all the lockers on, you only need one brake to lock up all four tires. Yeah. Because you're engaged. Yeah. Right? Um, so that could still work. But instead of changing the wheel hub and using the shaft as is we we think we're going to drill it out but what's plan what's plan c there is a plan c and plan c is to cut this flange off of the broken shaft cut yeah. cut this flange off of a perfectly good shaft and then weld this flange to that shaft thereby making a franken shaft for frank the tank for frank the tank from 1-800 tow you out. And we'll have, one way or another, a shaft that's gonna turn all four tires. Oh, that does not look Actually, safe. This is, this is, Hold on, this we're, already, is not our we're already running, we're look already, at that. That did not work. I do have my safety Crocs on, I want you to know that though. Are they in sport mode? They are in sport. Oh, no, they're not, hold on. Uh-oh. All right. You know this is part of the dumbing down of America. All right, yeah, I feel ready. Crocs. 
Safety are part of the dumbing down of America. Crush. You're gonna need to put your glasses on. Safety third, we're in the machine shop. So yeah, I feel like I need a helmet. They're much less comfortable with metal shavings. Uh, I can tell you, I've tried it. Especially and, uh, hot metal shaving. Yeah, yeah, not recommended. Yeah. Judd says no sport mode. No. 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 He, he's Can't saying I, I want a, a fast exit strategy out of them. Turning stuff. Until it happens, right? Just. Trevor probably hasn't done this in 20 years, so it'll be interesting to see if he remembers. These guys <laughs> he's, don't even know. It looks Watch like it. He knows really Watch it, Freddy. Oh, no, it's not working. There's a there's a bolt you can use to make it easier, Trevor. Oh, you really are getting me. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what's going on over here. I have no comment. It looks like the boss is working now. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, cameraman it's, interference. Right up the this is like, what just fell off? Yeah, it's in my hand. Track key. Yeah. This full chaos. It's called a shit show, bud. Yeah. Look at that. It's like an etch a sketch. That whole. It's pretty light in here. Oh, it turns on. That's a good. That's a good first step. Right. So we got something going there. We're gonna want. Joe, are we gonna go high range? Um, probably, not when we're doing the, the uh, oblong hole out. I think I will. There we go. That looks good. 500. Sounds like a good round number. That's a good number, yeah. Yeah. It's like half of a thousand. Mm-hmm. Yep. So I'd say it's a good place to start. Yeah. You see all those numbers? Yeah. They mean something. They're for reference only, though. Yeah. It says right on there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For instance, speeds and feeds. Have you ever heard of that? No, no. Yeah, pretty important. I, I have like one speed. Yeah. So I don't, <laughs> and I don't worry about my feeds. In the machine world, speeds and feeds are pretty important. Okay. Yeah. So is 500 a good speed? 500 is perfect. <laughs> That is going to be a 12, what is that, 3, 6, 9, 10, it's a 14 bolt. I'm trying to count, there's so many holes, that is a 16 bolt. I thought it was a 14 bolt, but 3, 6, 9, 12, 30, 14, 15, 16. The numbers are right, yeah. It's a 16 bolt axle shaft. Yeah. It looks pretty good. Is that thing still covered under warranty? Yes. What I would do is go cut off what you need to cut off, but go slide this in, measure the distance, and then cut off like a like an eighth inch more than that. Don't yeah. go on what your number was. Don't go off my measurements. Those yeah. can't be accurate. All right, if my calculations are correct, we need to cut off about an inch and a half. So we got an inch and uh, we got an inch and five eighths to the flange there. So cut off an inch and nine sixteenths, right in the middle. What do they always say? Measure once, cut. I don't know. We're gonna go, go over to the, the metal area. Okay. Oh. Yeah, just swing just. that anywhere. <laughs> we need to bring the tape measure, I think. So we need to get to that vice. Oh. Got to compare some measurement. Yep. And then let's look here. Oh, that doesn't add up at all. Well, let's start by cutting an inch and three quarter off there. I gotta say, I'm real happy I have the gloves because this one's really hot. Yeah. And it's a little warm in the Crocs too. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Uh, uh -huh. We're getting somewhere. Yeah. This is uh <laughs> Watch that truck. Yeah, you're good. 
Here's the question. Do you think he left the bolts on the trailer and they all fell out? Oh, absolutely. So did all the bolts fall off the trailer when you drove around? No. Uh, the rest of them. Oh. Okay. So. You ready for the moment of truth? Oh. So. Go grab your bolts. So, oh, wait. You know what? That we're going to have to jack it up. You know what I'm saying? No. But, but, I, but I believe you. <laughs> yeah, Try turning I, the drive on. I got a bottle jack. A bottle jack? Yeah. Yeah, I, we have a floor jack. <laughs> we have a shop. There they are. I just want to make sure they all line up before we, go, before we send it. Where's your bolts? Because, like, look at this. They all go in by hand. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Look at this. What kind of it's like somebody knew what they were doing. Oh, holy what shit. kind of sorcery is that? It's all those numbers Judd had. Yeah. On the paper. Judd's numbers. Yeah. Look, they all just start going just like. That's magical. Right? How does that happen? I need a portable this mill is, this is on the Jeep. Oh, we're going Loctite? Yeah. Wow. So this is a permanent fix. Yeah, I didn't even put a gasket on the on the cover yet. What? That's what the right stuff was originally for. Oh, was that your right stuff? <laughs> no, it's your right stuff. Oh, wait. Again. So we're gonna need to take the cover back off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's kind of only hand threaded on there. You might want to go ahead and get that off because he's getting the right stuff right now. All right. So here we are in the parking lot of WFO at 5.30 on a Thursday night and the infamous Frank the Tank from 1-800-TOW-YOU-OUT is right here, here uh, fixing his tow vehicle and we have just created the first successful, what is it Frank? It's a 16 hole 12 volt axle shaft. A 16 hole 12 volt axle it's shaft. It's like a hybrid. It's a hybrid Dana 80-70-60 Yukon import chrome ollie full float flanged axle shaft 35 spline and so he's pretty much done here decided to do a little bit other routine maintenance while he's in the parking lot as you can see the yard sale going on gear oil and and other kinds of things happening so uh looks like our job is done uh game on see ya